here, I saw you. <laughs> I always make extra certain at 8.30 that I've got some young friends. How are you, Mikey? Good. Good. No brother today? No, he no. can't really talk. Oh, that sounds fun. Probably had a cold night, though. Good morning to you both. How are you? Good. So I want to talk. Oh, come on up, Penelope. I won't start without you. You have a lovely what I've heard is called a transitional fall outfit on, <laughs> where we're in fall now, but it's still kind of nice outside. I don't know fashion. I don't know what that means. I just hear it. So, <laughs> Good morning. So I want to talk to you this morning about this idea that our world likes to talk about or has of fairness. What does it mean for something to be fair? Go ahead, Mikey. Equal. Equal. Mm, that's a good word we're going to come back to. So if I said, hmm, I'll use an example from my childhood. My brother, who is six years older than me, he would get to go to sleepovers at my older cousin's house, and I didn't get to go. And I would always say to my mom, that's not fair. What am I asking for? What am I saying is not fair about that? What would make it more equal? Go ahead, Evelyn. If I got to go too, right? And so the reason I'm talking to you about fair and equal is because in today's gospel that Pastor Steve will read in just a few minutes, there is a landowner who has a vineyard, and he hires some workers at the beginning of the day and agrees to pay them a certain amount of money. And they go off and they do the work, and near the end of the day, with like one hour left of the working day, there are some other people who are just kind of standing. And this landowner asks them why they're just standing there not doing anything. And they say, no one has hired us to do work today. So the landowner says, well, why don't you go work for the last hour in the vineyard too? So when all of the people who have been working all day come back, the man pays the people that promised amount of money who have been working all day. And what would be the fair thing to do for the workers who work less, according to the other people? Now I'm doing it too, unless that's you. I haven't moved. Or did I go out? How about now? How about now? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> what would it be, Mikey? I would give them the same amount of pay. Would that be the fair thing to do? Do you think if they worked one hour and the other people worked eight? I mean, I wouldn't say it's very fair, but they, they would still be fair to get the same amount. Mm, so it's about the amount, the outcome of it, rather than the hours worked, right? So that's exactly what the landowner does, is he pays the people who worked one hour the same amount as the people that worked eight hours. Now, the people that worked eight hours are pretty upset by this. And they're like, hey, why are you paying them the same amount of money even though we worked longer hours? And the man says, well, you agreed to this at the start of the day. Isn't it up to me to decide to be generous instead of you know, having to make everything about fair? So I want to show you a picture that comes back to this idea of equal. Because we like to say, at least our world likes to say, that everyone should be equal, right? That everything and everyone should be equal. I want you to look at this picture. Come close if you can't see it. Tell me what you see and if this is really equal. What about it looks fair and what maybe isn't so fair? Go ahead. You want to see the grown up can see. Mm -hmm. That kid can sort of see and that kid can't. Right. So, for those who can't see it, and this is just because in the long list of things I had to do this week, getting it on a slide just wasn't one of them that made the cut. But it is a picture, and you know what? This is one of the really infamous equality, equity pictures that has been surfacing around for a long time, and this isn't even the best one, but it's good for them. Um, it is three people, one that looks like an adult, one that's maybe a, a, a kid Evelyn's size, and one that's Penelope's size. And they are all wanting to watch this baseball game over the fence. And they're all being given the equal amount of resources, right? They each get one box to stand on. Can they all see at the end of the day? No, they can't see, right? So that's not about what makes it really fair. This is what equality or equal looks like. There's this thing, a big word we're learning in church today, maybe not in length, but in meaning, called equity. Equity means everyone gets what they need in order to have the same ability to see over this fence, right? So the person who's shorter gets two boxes. We short people like that kind of privilege, right? I, thanks for pointing at me. I know I'm short too. I say that to my volleyball girls all the time. I know. Well, you all are still growing. You know what I mean? I have been done. 
this person just needs the one box and he's now able to see, and the person who was able to see from the very beginning doesn't need one, so he doesn't get one. So the business that God is in is a little different than what the world is in. The world cares about equality, everyone getting the same things, whether they get the same outcome or not, but God is in the business of equity and generosity. Big words, I know, for 8.30 in the morning. But what it's saying is, like this landowner, who didn't have to pay them the same amount of money, he can choose to do that. He can choose to give what's his and be generous, give more than maybe what's expected. And so it's saying that even if the world is saying, well, you should make this amount of money um, because I made this amount of money when I was your age, times not only are different, but people can be, choose to be generous with their resources and don't have to provide the exact same thing to everyone because there are some people who are in need of things that other people are not, right? Like, you have a vest on today, so you're warm. If Penelope was super cold, we would say, oh, maybe we could share our vest because I have long sleeves on and you have a dress on. Those kinds of things, that we can choose to be generous with the things that God has given to us. Let's have a quick prayer. Thanks for indulging. Oh, I didn't tell you about this side, but you know, you heard me describe it. You'll figure it out. So let's have a quick prayer before you go back to your seats. Dear God, God. thank you for giving us an abundance of resources. resources. Help us to share share what you have given to us us. so that we might be generous generous. and not just fair. fair. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, thanks for coming up this morning. You may go back to your seat.